hello and welcome to the video lecture on introduction to 2d array using c programming at the end of this video lecture students will be able to demonstrate the declaration and initialization of an 2d array and will be able to explain the concept of memory representation in a 2d array the following topics will be discussed in this video lecture 2d array declaration of 2d array memory representation of 2d array elements initialization of 2d array 2d array what is the need of 2d array why do you need actually the 2d array need of an 2d array consider a scenario where we are going to store student roll number and mark scored by him in one particular subject in the same way to store student roll numbers and marks of 100 students in different subjects we need to declare 100 one dimensional array Handling these variables in the program is quite complex. Therefore, we can use the concept of 2D array, which will allow to store and access 100 values of 100 students using same variable name. In this way, 2D array is useful to make code simple. Definition of a 2D array. Two-dimensional arrays are nothing but the arrays which are indexed by two subscripts, one for the row and the other for the column. Example may be a periodic table, or it may be a lab book of multiple readings, or marks obtained by three students in three subjects. So, if it is taken as an example like float marks roll number subject, in which there are different roll numbers, there are different roll numbers of the students, and the subject is different subject 0, subject 1, subject 2. So, there are different marks obtained by different uh, students in different subjects. So this may be an example for it. Now we will be discussing about how to declare a two-dimensional array. In order to declare a 2D array in C, a programmer specifies the type, that is the data type of the elements, name of the array, row size, and column size required by an array as follows. That is type, array name, row size, column size, so this type of array is called a two-dimensional array. The row size and column size must be an integer constant greater than zero. And type can be any valid C data type. For example, to declare a five cross theory array called stud std of type int, use this statement. Here, stud is a variable array which is sufficient to hold up to 15 integer numbers. The size of this array will be 60 bytes as 4 bytes are required to store one integer constant. Float a 5 5 here is a variable array with sufficient to hold up to 25 floating point numbers. The size of this array will be 40 bytes as 4 bytes are required to store one floating point constant. Character name 3 of 1 here name is a variable array with sufficient to hold up to 3 characters. The size of this array will be 3 bytes as 1 byte is required to store 1 character constant. Memory representation of an array. Now we will be discussing about the memory representation of array elements in a 2D array. Suppose we have declared an array int as 3 2. All arrays have 0 as the index of the first element which is called the base index and the last index of an array will be total size of the array minus 1. All the array elements will have garbage values assigned to it. So it will be s of 0 0, s of 0 1, s of 1 0, s of 1 1, s of 2 0, s of 2 1. Now, this whatever we are seeing 2686712, 2686716, 2686726, 2686720, 2686724, 2686728, and 2686732. So these are the address locations of the different array elements. Now suppose when I assign a value to index 0, 0, it means S of 0, 0 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. 
the above statement assigns the zeroth row and zeroth column element in the array with a value of 1, 2, 3, 4. Pictorial representation of the array which we have discussed above is shown below. So all other elements other than the zeroth row and zeroth column index element will have garbage values assigned to it. Initialization of a 2D error. Initialization means giving some initial value. I am giving some initial value to the particular element, array element. The initialization of an array or 2D array can be done either in a single statement or one statement as follows. Int as 4 to 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. It means 4 rows and 2 columns. The number of values between braces cannot be larger than uh, the array size. The row size is to be mentioned compulsory, whereas the column size can be omitted. So this is the another way, int rnum 4 empty column and I have assigned the values. It would be 2 1, 1 3, 5 7, 9 11. In this array, I have initialized the array with row size equal to 2 and column size equal to 1 but I am assigning 3 values which will create error during execution of the program. Another thing is character n1 empty bracket a b c d so this is a character array then int eid 4 1 11 12 in this array I have initialized the array with row size equal to 4 and column size equal to 1 but I am assigning two values whereas all other array elements will have a garbage value or junk value assigned to it. The garbage value is 0 for integer data type, 0, 0.00 for floating point data type and null for character data type. Now pause this video for a few seconds and try to write answer to the question. Which of the following is the correct way to declare a multidimensional array int r 1 2 int r 2 3 both a and b none of the above so so the main point we had discussed during the declaration of multidimensional array was you have to mention the data type of the array that is first and two are correct then you have to mention what is the array name what is the type name and the array name then mention the row size and column size so as both of the options are correct a and b so it will be c both a and b is the correct answer now today we'll be discussing how to write a simple program for displaying marks obtained by three students in three different subjects using code block software it means i'll be declaring int marks three three comma i comma j these are the two variables i and j for rows and columns for i equal to zero i is less than three i plus plus then for j equal to zero j is less than 3 j plus plus printf slash n enter the marks scored by the user slash n ending with a semicolon scanf percentage d and marks of i j ending with this now this is ok now marks obtained by three students in three different subjects so I'm using printf slash n the 
marks scored by the students students slash in ending now again for i equal to 0 i is less than 3 i plus plus bracket for j equal to 0 j is less than 3 j plus plus bracket again print f percentage d comma marks of i j then as i want afterwards it should be in the separate line so i am using printf slash n slash t go for build i'll go for compile i'll go for run i'll enter the marks 50 60 70 80 90 40 60 78 67 so this is how i go get the output on the screen these are the marks scored by the students in three different subjects these are the following reference thank you